Hey everybody, Nick Norton here. Just with a quick video on how to use the batch editor in Isotope RX uh, because it can be a huge time saver if you have to do the same thing to a bunch of different audio files. So uh, what I'm doing today is just taking some files a client sent me that are in M4A format and converting them to WAVE uh, so I can get them into Pro Tools more quickly and because uh, RX's conversion sounds a lot better than Pro Tools's. So to bring up the batch editor, we go to uh, file, okay, honestly, I just press Command B because that brings it right up. Let's remove all files there. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop your files or folders into this area on the left and then here in the center column, you can add modules just like you would add them in RX. So let's pretend we want to do adjust the gain of all these files. We could add that module there and pull up the settings and adjust it as needed. I'm going to go ahead and take that off because I'm using resample for this. And then over here is where it outputs. So you could make uh, wave files in various bit depths. You could... Uh, make mp3s simultaneously oh. and uh, you can decide where they're going here and uh, also if there's a naming convention you want to use so I always use presets here's the one I use for this show that I'm working at and see it's already saved to go into the right location uh, and then all oops applications is open all you do is drag the files that you want into it and once your settings are correct, you hit process. And we can see that is starting to go. These take a long time because they're like two hour files. And uh, when it is all done, they will be delivered into where I want them to go that I decided right over here. So hopefully that saves you some time. All right. Cheers.